Some of the best news, as you see lately, the stock has been blowing up. But today, we're going to be focusing on things that matter, like the energy. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yo, we're going to jump right into it. As you guys can see, here's a post by my big homie, the one and only Sawyer. He says, Tesla has secured a $200 million mega pack contract in Australia. The project will consist of two 100 million battery energy storage systems, each size at 200 megawatts or 400 megawatts an hour. Construction will start in mid late 2025. As you can see, this is going to be a gorgeous installment. And guys, we're always getting contracts when it comes down to the energy department. And I'm going to play a quick video so you guys can see about some of the energy products that we do offer at Tesla, which most people don't know. So Tesla has released a new video on how they make a mobile power wall units, mobile power wall units. That is interesting. Tesla sent 18 of these units to North Carolina and are working on five more. This is very interesting. All right, let's get it. What we're trying to do with the mobile power wall units is take energy storage systems, which is technology that Tesla is already great at, that any customer in the world, you and I can buy, and apply that same technology to help people in need, uh, communities in need. The MPU or mobile power wall unit contains two power walls, a uh, PVI or photovoltaic inverter for our solar strings and a gateway, which is essentially the controller between the user of the grid and the power walls. We've already manufactured and distributed over 18 of these units into North Carolina. We're working on the next batch of five, and we have a few units actually globally outside of these hurricanes, and that tallies to over 500 kilowatt hours of storage just through these mobile power wall units. Amazing. Now, you guys don't know, in natural disaster, guys, it's almost like World War Z. It is not easy to make it, and it's very important for people to have this available. Now, this guy has these units inside of his home, so like this. Let's see what he's got. So he's got the whole setup, right? He's got the Tesla car. He's got the actual power walls, and he's locked in box ready to go and he says i'm wondering when they will offer these mobile power wall units for non-grid use okay i have no power company serving my area and supply my own solar we'll be updating the battery tech eventually well see those are potential customers customers that are off the grid completely and these are awesome and then this is something that is ingenuity of tesla engineers can come up with that they can eventually be made in a product for end users, temporary and disaster applications. Yes, I think that a lot of these devices are great for natural disasters. And natural disasters, guys, you guys don't have access to the grid. It's gonna be very hard to actually have storage of energy, so people need it. And technically, with quotations, as this person says, power to the people. Hell yeah, Tesla is killing it with those power walls and can't wait to see them in action and in NC. And let's be real, anything with Elon touch just rocks. And his robots are the future. I mean, why doesn't love a good robot? And who doesn't love a good robot? Keep it coming, Elon, and power to the people. It's electric. I added that part. North Carolina, going to be powered up. 18 power walls is a good start. But five more, Tesla, gonna make sure these folks are ready for anything. Another one is, comment section says, Tesla's absolutely nailed it with the power walls. I'm super hyped to see these bad boys in action. 18 units, how many people is each one supposed to serve? It could serve a bunch of people, right? Because they're mobile. They're going to be being able to move, mobile. They're not going to be in one location. Kind of close this out and let's see what else we got. We got some other great investments look guys uh, today i was talking to somebody about actually making an investment in tesla people seen the market soar and the stock went through the roof i think it's at like 320 dollars per share plus now a lot of people ask me like yo what's your strategy man did you catch the wave look guys i always purchase stocks and i continue to purchase stocks I, it's just a continuous thing that i do hands down but one of the things that i want you guys to just notice is that one of the skill sets that I actually try to bring to the table is looking into the company, looking into the research and development, and mainly the investment. Companies usually make a particular investment into their said company. And I really try to look for the return on that investment prior to it actually showing up on the budget sheet or the financial sheets. 
And so if we're looking into Tesla and we're seeing that they're building giga mega factories and they're building more giga factories and they're building a lithium ion refinery in Texas, then we're able to actually trace, okay, what's the supply and demand for the energy sector? What's the supply and demand and what's the margins on the lithium? What's the margins on new giga factory, right? What are they going to be able to bring to the table and how is that going to affect the finances? Once you can find a correlation of how much revenue they'll be able to generate and what's the margins look like, then you could actually make that investment into the company prior to <clears throat> it's showing up in Wall Street and everybody else catching drift. By the time Wall Street actually figures it out, I've already made the investment. So that's the really cool part. <clears throat> and here's one of the investments that Tesla's recently made. I put it on mute because it's going to be loud. As you can see, this is a serious investment. The hardware is not a joke team. Now, the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen, said that nobody has been able to launch this type of hardware that quick and that fast like Elon Musk. So even just actually setting this up, this Cortex supercomputer training cluster in Giga Texas, he said that was a masterpiece. That was something that he's never seen before. So again, you always can take a little bit of expertise that's coming from people like the CEO of NVIDIA, which is separate from Tesla, because most people are just going to say you're biased, right? You love Tesla, you're a fanboy. But at the same time, they love the CEO from NVIDIA because he doesn't go against their political opinions. So with that being said, it's like, okay, don't listen to me. I'm a fanboy. But are you still going to listen to the CEO of NVIDIA or is he a fanboy also, right? Tesla FSD version 13 is the first fully new version of FSD to use Cortex. Tesla says 5X training compute scaling with version 13. And of course, a lot of people don't care anymore. They're like, I don't care. You're not going to deliver the FSD. You've been failing. The competition is there. The competition is beating you. Even if that was true, I will put my money on Elon Musk because once again, it's pretty simple, guys. Don't bet against Elon. I don't know if a lot of people know about actual Tesla insurance, right? It's been now two years since Tesla insurance expanded to a new state. In total, Tesla insurance is available to 12 U.S. states, covering a population of nearly 136 million people, about 41% of the U.S. population. And this is pretty much showing where Tesla insurance is available. I think that they did scale back on this, especially since the cyber taxi or the cyber cab is going to come out. So at the end of the day, um, you know, the insurance that's rolled out to the actual users might not be the primary focus of Tesla right now. And since we have people like the Trump administration really bringing home a victory for Tesla and potentially being very good and people are not really understanding, like, why does it matter if, you know, the Trump administration is in? What does that mean for Tesla as far as Elon Musk and the company performing on the stock? Well, let me show you. Look, Donald Trump botched the pandemic response so poorly. Not only did we lose 10 million jobs, we were pitted into a hunger game against our neighbors to find toilet paper. That's how bad it was. So now, I suppose it wasn't too bad, thinking back to that economy. If you're a billionaire, Elon Musk, for example, say, that guy, that guy got it. <laughs> Michigan knows that word. But look, that dude got a tax cut, the rest of us got shafted on the whole deal. That's how that worked out. So a few months ago, some of you, and I know UAW. See, and so <clears throat> that's the problem, right? Having an administration that's pretty hostile just because you have capital. And then also at the same time, Elon Musk paid the largest tax bill in all of human history, which was $10 billion. And so out of all people he can pick on, Nancy Pelosi, even himself, um, he's never paid as much taxes as Elon Musk has paid. And he's faulting the guy because he has massive amounts of capital. And all of his capital is actually tied up in between two companies, which is SpaceX and Tesla. So to have an administration pretty hostile to an individual just because they have capital is ridiculous. And so you really have to focus on that because net net across the board, if you go to a different country, countries tend to know how to protect their individual geniuses and industrial entrepreneurs and inventors. And when you actually look at a place like, let's say, China or a place like the United States of America, this is something that we need to do. We need to protect those individuals which build massive amounts of goods and services that people love and adore 
and not shame them. This is something that Trump understands, protect our geniuses. This is something that he's saying. The other administration was not saying anything like that. They wanted to protect other people, but they did not want to protect our geniuses that provide massive amounts of jobs and is the most American car in the United States of America. Actually, the best company that spells American is an American car made by Tesla, which has the most components, the most assembly inside the United States of America. Hands down, it's already been rated. It's not debatable. But this is the type of support that you get from an administration. It matters. So shout outs to the mega movement. Shout outs to Trump. And best of luck. Well, you know, try again, Harris. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Like, share, subscribe. And again, everyone hates Tesla. It's electric, the future. Don't deny it. Try it. Peace out.